welcome back to another exciting chemistry lesson. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the periodic table to get the information we learn about elements. So here we have the key. First of all, we have this number on top. That is your atomic number. And that number is the same number as the number of protons. So in a way, the number of protons, which is a subatomic particles that make up an atom, and each atomic number represents a specific element. As you notice, the periodic table is arranged based on increasing atomic number. And then right below, we have the element symbol. And then follow it, if we're lucky, we have the element name. And lastly, we have the average atomic mass. Now, this is not the same thing as mass number. Now, let's look at other information that we can learn from the periodic table. Well, if you notice how we have group all the way to group 18, but right below it, we have 1A all the way to 8A. So, we are consider the A group as the representative groups. And then down here, we have this group right here. We have the transitional group. Now, we are going to learn about that later, but Going across, what do we have here? Those numbers right here, those are called specific groups, okay? And sometimes they use the term families as well. So don't get tricked by it, okay? And then down here we have 1 all the way to 7. Those are considered as periods. So each element belongs in specific group as well as period. So let's do a practice problem. For example, right here, nitrogen. It has atomic number of 7. Nitrogen is represented by the letter N. And then the average atomic mass is 14.01. It's in group 5A or 15, or in this case, in period number 2. Let's do another problem using our autograded quiz. For example, in this case, what do we have? Neon. Neon's right here. So neon is what atomic number 10. The element symbol is what? N E and N is kappa E is not the average atomic mass of 20.18. And what group is it in? It's in group 8A. Okay. And then what period is it in? It's in second period, so two. And then we submit. And there you go. Everything's correct. And one last important information that we have to know is that all the atoms of all the elements on the periodic table are neutral. That means the number of proton is equal to the number of electrons. So again, all the atoms of all the elements on the periodic table are considered neutral. That's why the number of proton is equal to the number of electron, and we don't see any charges here. And as always, if you have any question, take a picture, put it in a forum, and we help you from there. And we'll see you next time on another video.